A dinner for heroes at the Mirage. The very special celebration was held ahead of Veterans Day. The organization putting on tonight's event is U.S. Vets, and they specialize in giving homeless vets a second chance. 8 News Now reporter Shakela Alvarenga shares one woman's story. Well, Brian and Denise, U.S. Vets has documented a significant decrease in the number of homeless veterans living on the streets. They've seen a 50% drop in the past five years. Tonight, they celebrated how far they've Come. For years, Shalamar Cabrera has fought tirelessly to help homeless veterans get back on their feet. It's a tragedy that somebody who served in our military has to find themselves homeless on the streets that they fought to defend. Tonight, Cabrera recognized several local veterans who've changed their lives for the better. This is Anna Martinez. And this is how I saw it. It took her 25 years to talk publicly about what happened to her in the military. I was in the Army for 27 and a half years. I retired in November of 2018. I was sexually assaulted early in my career, and I carried on. I carried that on for a long time. After retiring, Martinez suffered from PTSD. She turned to gambling. U.S. vets helped her bounce back. It's a great story about not just struggling, but also surviving and overcoming what she, what she had been through. She actually just bought a house in April. I went from living in a car to 1,400 square feet. I, I'm still in awe. I went from crawling to walking to finally running. Now Martinez is going to UNLV to become a social worker. U.S. Vets has helped more than 13,000 veterans get jobs. And U.S. Vets plans to open a new campus that will include a wellness clinic within the next two years. Brian.